How are we doing? <laughs> We're doing great. Hello and welcome. Myself Mike and my friend here Tony back with another video for you. How have you been? How have you been Tony? Very good, thank you Mike. Yes, yes. and it's been a few weeks since the turn of the new year. So what have you been up to? Well, digesting Christmas puddings, <laughs> eating mince pies, all that's gone now. Um, starting a new year, Mike, in kind of a slightly different focus. Okay. Trying to make the best of each each day. Good. Uh, not huge jumps, but little jumps, little decisions, little uh, actions to, to move forward. And how's that been working out? Good. Yeah, I think I, I learned from you, actually, uh, when you were writing your book. Okay. To... Rather than worrying about writing the whole book in one week, just take a page a day and take and celebrate those little victories forward, which I thought was really powerful. Yeah, it's um, looking at the end goal, but it's like that old saying, isn't it? How do you eat an elephant? <laughs> it's with a big knife and fork. With a big knife and fork. It's bite by bite, isn't it? Yeah. Um, obviously, looking at what can I do each day or each moment that's going to move me forward towards my end objective so that's been working well for you yeah. i think so and I, and I was reading over christmas that a lot of people get worried about or preoccupied with the idea that there's the goal okay and i'm only going to be happy when i get to that goal or i want it all vroom, now mm. and you really got to understand that that, that there's a process yeah. and to enjoy that process towards Dude. the goal it's like when i'm speaking with my clients you know some of them may only want to lose a few pounds uh, or some of them may only just want to you know, build up a little bit of strength or some of them may want to build up a lot of strength or lose a huge amount of weight. But regardless, the process is still the same. You can only lose a stone of weight or two stones of weight a pound at a time. You right. can't lose a stone at a time <laughs> or two stones at a time. And it's remembering that and saying, right, this is going to help you lose that pound, lose that pound and a half, mm -hmm. lose that two pounds, mm -hmm. which eventually will tally up to, mm -hmm. you know. And, and I think also you have to teach your body and your mind what it feels like to celebrate those little victories mm -hmm. and, and do that a few times. Bef because if you think about it, we're more conditioned as humans for the big victory, yeah. the, the big holiday that I'm going on in six months' time will be what I really, really have made it as happy, you know. But actually retraining the mind, I suppose it's a bit like putting a plate of food in front, front of you that's, that's you normally have fish and chips and pies and lots of, say, unhealthy food, but then you change it, say, for a salad. It would literally be like, teach, I've learned doing green smoothies every mm. morning now that you have to retrain the taste buds to say to the taste buds, listen taste buds, this is for the body's benefit, not for mm. yours. This is for my body. That's not actually what I say, folks. I say, this green smoothie is <laughs> for my body. So taste buds, just take a back back step. Because yeah. I'm doing this for my health. Vroom, and then I might have a bit later on a little bit of chocolate to, for the, st and it's understanding that, but I've had to train yeah. up that, that, uh, neuro network if you like and it's the same with your goals if you can train yourself up to get real victory for those little steps mm. and, and enjoy that and I think you've got very good at that haven't you yeah well so it leads me to a question and so what do you believe because there'll be people out there and watching this video who have objectives goals and you know typically at this time of year people are talking about new year's resolutions or changing or refreshing or revisiting things that they may have not done before in the past so what would you say is a way that they can start to think in a way that's going to empower them to move forward to these particular goals their desires uh, first, and new year's resolutions or whatever i think first of all mike decide what it is you want okay. and, and write that down on a piece of paper and have several there might be several things not too many but but make those goals things that you could achieve in the next two or three months. Okay. And the longer the longer goals they're on paper as well, but you just look at where you can go to for the first step, mm -hmm. making sure that they're achievable. And, but with a bit of challenge, not okay. too easy, otherwise it's yeah. not a goal. Uh, and then work on those first. Okay. And then do a little bit, understand that there's an unfoldment, there's a process to this, and just take joy in that unfoldment. Yeah. Um, and that's the secret, I think. Okay, and, so, and then one day you'll turn around and you've got that. Yeah. So you're saying it's becoming clear, so writing down what it is that you are wanting to experience or achieve, but also understanding that it's going to take a series of steps yeah. as opposed to one big step. 
It's interesting that because um, a recent book, I'll post a link of that book below here, um, was talking about process and event. And for a lot of us, people who want change, they want an event, they want something big and grandiose mm. to happen. You know, the knight in mm. shining armor to come over the hill saying, yeah. I'm here to save you. When the reality of the situation is, yeah. it's going to take a series of steps and yeah. processes in order to experience a change, whatever that yeah. change may yeah. be. So it's something that um, we need to start training our brain to think in that empowering way that this change I desire is a process. I love that sentence about training the brain to recognize that this is going to take some time. Yes. That is so powerful yeah. because your brain isn't conditionally made no, to work like that, yeah. is and it? Society is constantly telling us about this instant, instant, yeah, instant. instant that, yeah, that's so true. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 yeah. so we're doomed, <laughs> whatever we do in today's world, we're doomed because uh, it is difficult. Yeah. So I love that word train. You do. Yeah. Well, you agree with diet. You, yes, have, to, you have to train yourself, don't you? To training and conditioning and going through that whole development. You know, all these words that we talk about are going through a process. You know, training, developing, understanding. It's actually an ongoing process to be um, something new. You have to go through this process and. That's the way you empower yourself, understanding, almost falling in love with that mm. in processing, mm. Mm. understanding, training, developing, yeah. you know, falling in love with that process. And that's where you'll be more empowered to do that. Absolutely. So, and yeah. the big word here, folks, is the word discipline. Yes. <laughs> discipline. Uh, so important. Yeah. But if you want something, if you really, 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 really want something, you'll find that discipline. Oh, yeah. I've, I've wrote and written about that many times. and. It's changing your perception and your priorities. And it's one thing that we talk about in our Think to Thrive workshop and our Think to Thrive training program, which you'll be hearing lots more about over these next coming weeks. But in conclusion, I'd like you to leave us a, a comment. You want to empower yourself. You want to become a better person, you want to become more healthy, you want to achieve specific goals. What do you think that you it is that you need to do to become more empowered? Leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you think. And if you found this video a benefit, you found this video of value, again, leave us a comment and give us a thumbs up. As I said, we'll be sharing more insights over these next few weeks, more of our thoughts of what we are experiencing in our personal lives and what we've found that's working within other people's lives and what you can start to do to apply in your life that's going to move you towards your dreams and your desires. So for now, this is Mike signing out. Tony signing out to your success and uh, we really hope this is going to be powerful. Well, we know this is going to be powerful for you um, and hearing our stories. So uh, yeah, to your success. To your success.